Hey guys, it's Nightbrex, and guys, today we're going to talk about an SH figure arts figure, and it's going to be Kid Gohan. This figure, they're going to say, looks really cool. Um, the accessories for this one's also not too bad. Uh, we actually get interchangeable hairpiece, uh, technically two of them. Um, different head sculpts, of course, or face sculpts, technically. You get one, of course, normal. That one doesn't look too bad, the picture we've been getting for the past couple of times. Of course, with the Dragon Ball right there, and the, um, the Raider. Forgot the specific name for that one again, sorry, but... Yeah, here's another picture of him, of course, with this normal accessories, but this kind of weird pose right here. Looks like he's technically going to pick up the Dragon Ball, but the head, like, looks like he can't really move it well. So that's, what gonna be, that's already going to be a problem for this figure right there. So it does look really weird, that picture right there. I don't know why they added that one. Here's, of course, another one I love a lot. This is, like, one of my favorite poses is right here, of course, him, like, powering up, I'm guessing. He's, like, of course, his teeth are showing really angry. That's a really, of course, really cool pose. Love the hair. And it's probably my favorite pose right here, him screaming, of course, doing like a power thing right there. That looks awesome. That face scope right there of him angry, screaming like that is awesome. Here's another, of course, picture of him, of course, freaking out, like shocked. That's a really cool face. I love that one a lot. I kind of wish we get a Goku face of that one. That'd be pretty cool. Here's, of course, another him posing, kicking it with his teeth like they're showing. Pretty cool. And uh, him screaming with, of course, his hair flat like that with the tracking thing right there. Not too bad right there also. Him when floating, and here's a pretty cool one actually. A really cool pose of him freaking out and just Piccolo right there, of course, uh, blocking the blast. That's a really cool uh, picture right there. But the thing that pisses me off with this figure is $82.99. Are you freaking kidding me? Why is this this much? Why? I don't get that. I unless this is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, or this is a like whatever you call it, web exclusive, for a four inch figure. Eighty-two ninety-nine. I don't get this, cause Gid um Gid Koku was like fifty-five or something like that or sixty, and it came with a lot of accessories. I was like, okay, that's pretty expensive, but you do get a lot of accessories, and of course now you can get that figure for like forty dollars, sometimes thirty-five on eBay, and of course his um trunks, kid trunks. He was of course like fifty-one or something like that. I saw, and right now he's on sale for forty-one because I'm guessing they didn't sell well, and I could find them on eBay for easily thirty or thirty-five dollars. So. Why is this eighty two ninety nine? I don't get it. I really don't. Like this is a rip off. I'm sorry. Like unless you guys, unless this is a mess off, then of course I'll be okay. How much is the real price then? I don't know. I have mixed things about this one. The figure looks great, but the price is stupid. <laughs> it really is. But yeah, the release date for this one's gonna be of um January two thousand twenty one. You still have to wait a while for this one, of course. But yeah. Tell me thoughts on this one, guys. Let me know. You guys can pick this up. You guys gonna pass? I'm most likely this would be a definitely pass until I could get this for like 35 or 40, maybe 50. I don't know. But yeah, yep. This is for you guys. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, um, please leave a like if you guys can. Subscribe if you guys want. See you guys next time. Bye.